In this video, we'll be using masking with Caden Live to have some text revealed from behind an object in our video. We can do this a couple different ways. So here's another example of a car revealing the text. But for this one, we're going to be doing this tree video clip. We'll drag it down to the timeline. And this is just a, a camera moving, panning past a tree. And we want our text to be behind the tree and then show up as we kind of come around it. So we'll go to, to create a title clip. And we could really reveal any object, but in this case it's text. So we'll create a title clip, we'll just type the word forest, and then we'll make sure that this title clip is the same length as our video clip, or at least the portion that we want it to be revealed at. And we can transform this text to make it a little bit larger if we want to. And then go up in the search bar here and type in mask under effects, and we'll drag this rotoscoping mask over top of the text clip. And so what this lets us do is draw a mask on top of this text clip, and it also create a key frame. So the first point that we draw, we'll get to the point right where the text is about to come out of the tree, and we'll just draw sort of a box around the text. And then we'll change the alpha operation to subtract, and then we can go to the point where we think the text is gonna be completely revealed, and notice we don't see anything until we adjust the mask. And then by adjusting this, anything outside of it will be visible since we did the subtract, and anything inside of it will be not visible. And then we can just come over here on the timeline, and it created a keyframe for us automatically, but it wasn't exactly perfect. And so we can kind of go along and adjust this mask over the timeline. And every time we make an adjustment, it'll create a keyframe between the last point that we made an adjustment and the next point we're making an adjustment. And it'll sort of estimate where it thinks that. It's not really looking at where the tree is. It's just looking at the difference between where we moved. It's just using keyframes to adjust that mask. Uh, in between those points. So notice down in the timeline, different keyframes are being created. These red ones are the active ones. And also uh, on the effects panel, you can see the keyframes too. And with this clip, it's fairly easy because it's moving at a constant speed. So the masking isn't incredibly difficult. If you want to follow along with this exact video clip, you can find a download link for it in the video description. Once you get to the point where you feel like the masking is done pretty well, you can go ahead and play your video. I hope this video has made it a little more clear about how to use the masking to reveal objects in Caden Live. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and I look forward to catching you in the next video.